welcome back to my channel I am very 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 excited that I'm going to do my first beauty haul yay oh I'm just so excited yesterday my colleague asked me what type of eyeliner I was using so I told her because I have very oily lids my babe Christina actually introduced this eyeliner to me Art Deco and ever since I've discovered this eyeliner I never use any other eyeliner anymore because this eyeliner is all some. If you're looking for eyeliner that doesn't smudge, doesn't budge, and is very precise and the formula just comes out very easily, you can draw eyeliner very easily once you get used to this liquid eyeliner, then I definitely, 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 definitely ask you to give this a go, alright? This eyeliner is actually 79 I got this from Sasa uh, but when they are on promotion then it's really affordable like sometimes they have like a buy two for a certain price buy three for a certain discounted price but this time around they had 25% off if you buy two items from the same brand and as a member of Sasa I have member discount so I have additional 5% that makes this 30% well this is not for me this is for my colleague and I was very 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 lucky to get a brown one because like the amount of times I went to Sasa right I hardly see brown and I've been wanting a brown one for so long. I am very, very, very lucky that I got one yesterday. So while I was at Sasa yesterday, I treated myself to a bit of a beauty haul. Yay! Well, I didn't get a lot of things because I was just... That is... The ice cream man <laughs> anyway i got some essentials that i need since they were on discount i really needed a highlighter so i got this highlighter from the balm cosmetics it looks like this yesterday um i was contemplating on which highlighter to buy because this was a bit like on the expensive side is 99 so the assistant at the shop actually introduced me to another palette which has a highlighter um, two bronzers or contour and a powder I'm not sure there's like four in four or five in a palette and that one cost about hundred hundred something okay and I thought that was more affordable because they had a few options on that palette so I tested it and the minute I tested this highlighter I could not compromise for the other palette because this formula just glides on and it has a very very natural I, I don't know if you can see on the screen but it has a very very natural shimmer I know it's not very noticeable but that's what I like about highlighters I don't want the high points on my cheeks to like burst out like hey I'm very highlighter <laughs> but I do want a bit of a effect on my face so I thought this you know what it's okay. I'm ever just going to need one highlighter and I'm going to use this for a very long time. So I decided quality for quantity. The second thing I got from the same brand, well obviously I had to get the full discount so I had to get something else and the other thing that I don't really use because I haven't bought one was um, eyelid primer. So I got one from the Balm. They come in very cute packaging. And doesn't this remind you of like Superman? That's what it reminded me of. And I thought this packaging was really like vintage and 
at the same time it's like why is she arrested <laughs> i don't know i just thought it was really cute so that's the second thing i bought which is the eye primer the third thing i got was this art deco foundation full cover foundation i tested it on my hand and wow a little bit goes a long way so I thought I'd give it a go because like currently I'm using a cushion foundation that a friend gave to me and I thought that I should invest one on my own because like I've been using that cushion foundation for so long I think it's running out and because of the discount I was buying this brown eyeliner so together, I got 30% off. This liquid foundation is 89 and it comes in a box like this. Now, the fourth thing I got was pencil liner. I always wanted to try a pencil liner because like, you know with pencil liners, you can actually do a smoky eye and I really like smoky eye looks. Well, I wear smoky eye most of the time. So I just wanted one because I bought so many eyeliner pencils before and they always, always, always smudge and they never stay on. Like my lids are so oily that... I just haven't found one that was perfect for me and since this was 70% off ta -da! why not now next thing I bought was this which is also on 70% off it's a eyebrow filler so it's like a mascara but it's for your eyebrows wow that's a lot of product that came out I'm excited to try that Lastly, I got this liquid matte lipstick, which is also on discount. Oh, I have to say that, uh, yeah, I think you know the brow is from Art Deco, but this is from Pupa. Let me show you the box. This is the box. Pupa Matte Lip Fluid. So this, I tried on yesterday. I mean, I tested it yesterday and the colors, like, um, dark watermelon you'll see later because i am going to test all these products out let's try all of this together i just came out from the shower so i have a ready put toner on and i have put on spf sunscreen from biore this was also introduced to me by my friends and I love it because it's a watery consistency and it dries on the skin. It doesn't leave you feeling very sticky. So yeah, I've been using this. This is my second bottle to be honest with you. I'm really grateful for my friends. They introduced me things that I love and I don't need to look for other brands anymore as long as I have this I'm good I'm just this type of person that you know I just need a set of routine makeup that is perfect for me and that's my go-to I don't have to worry about smudging and all of that once I find the perfect one I stick with it let's go ahead and try on the foundation I'm going to put it on my hand and then I'm going to dab it on my face. I'm not sure if this was the right tone for me because there was no tester for this color. But the shop assistant assured me that it's going to be fine so we'll see I guess. Yeah, I'm using my Beauty Blender. This is by Katie Doll. It was on discount when I bought it for like 15 bucks. So this foundation seemed to dry really fast. I'm going to advise you to 
be quick with this because I don't know this is my first time trying it out and it feels like it's already dried on my skin so I'm going to have to work quickly because it's starting to look a bit patchy because I can't pat it in since that is dried already I think the color is okay but there are some parts that I need more According to the girl at the shop, this is a very long lasting wearable foundation so I'm excited to see how well it lasts today. I appear to have some spots. Yes ladies, it's that time of the month so I'm going to have to cover that up with concealer. It's going to be fine I think. We'll see. There you go! Finished! Oh, I forgot to mention this shade is 46 Dun Sand. Number 46. For the amount I put on my, on my face, I mean the coverage is pretty good. Like, it's definitely very light. I don't feel like I put foundation on. So, I'm liking it. <laughs> I love foundations. I feel like I have not put on anything. Next, I'm going to go ahead with my trusty Cleo Cover Concealer. Going to put that on my eye here. You know, this Cleo Concealer has a very nice scent to it. Cleo stuff always have very nice scent to it. Like yesterday when I was at Sasa, I was looking at the Cleo cushion foundation and I smelled it and it has the same smell as this concealer. I kind of like the smell if I'm honest. But nope, I didn't go for that cushion concealer because the girl recommended this liquid foundation. I thought I would give it a go. But I have to say that cushion foundations are very easy to use because I just open it up and then I just put my beauty blender on it and then I just go and I'm done. So I was I thought I was going to get another cushion foundation but I bought this instead. I got distracted and I bought this. I was going to go for a clear one because I'm really liking the concealer. The quality is quite good, but I don't regret buying this Art Deco liquid foundation as well. I mean, for the amount I put on my face, the coverage is good. And this stick is going to last me a very, very long time. Okay, concealer done. I'm going to go with my Innisfree No Sebum Powder going to pack that on the areas where I put on concealer. Done! Next! I'm going to use my trusty Tony Moly Lovely Eyebrow Pencil in the color 03. I'm going to gently fill in my eyebrows and shape it at the end. Then I'm going to brush it out. And now's the exciting part. I'm going to try out this Art Deco Brown... Brown. Art Deco Brown Filler. Wow. The consistency is quite thick. And the color is very close to my natural eyebrow color, but it's a bit dark, so I guess I would recommend not filling in your brows with the pencil too much because when you put the brow filler in, it ends up looking quite dark. But from up close, it looks fine, so 
still a bit dark for my liking I'm thinking next time I shall not fill in my brows too much okay anyway let's proceed with the next thing I'm going to use my wet and wild palette I'm using my equal tools brush and then I'm going to use my blending brush and just blend it out so next okay I've not used this color yet properly but I'm going to try it because it's a bit it looks like green right but when you swipe it on your finger it's brown but it's got a green like transition color so I'm going to try that out I'm going to put that at the outer corners of my eyes up to my crease line and then I'm going to blend that I'm going to use this pink color from Carnival and then I'm going to highlight the middle part of my eyes now that that's done by right I would go for a black eyeliner with this look but because I want to try out this Art Deco pencil liner I'm going to use this let's see what it looks like on my hand wow I wasn't expecting this color but okay I like it it's darker than normal which is always good I like dark brown and it glides on pretty smooth <laughs> Art Deco I'm counting on you please don't let me down So let's see how I'm going to draw with. Mm -hmm. Let's just try it out. Let's see if it goes on the lids easily. I have to say that you have to really press it on before the product comes out. I'm not sure if it's because it's new, but I'm going to draw a tight line close to my lashes. I wish the product will just come off more easily like it's a bit hard to apply because you have to really press on it it looks more like gray dark gray than brown strange is this color is it this color doesn't look like that color but I'm not complaining I quite like the color because it's quite dark but not black so far so good because I was looking for a more natural look with the pencil liner so this color is quite perfect for the natural looking alright let's see what's next next thing that I'm going to try from the haul is the lipstick but before that let me just finish this up with my contour I wanted to get a contour palette yesterday but I couldn't find the one from the balm because it was sold out so I didn't end up buying any contour palette but I will in the future Right now, I'm just continuing my use with this Too Cool For School Contour Palette. It's been my go-to, like my favorite one. Contouring done. Now, move on to my blusher. Oh, I'm using L'Oreal. The blush true match what's the color what's the color zero one i like this because it doesn't like it's very light and if you want more of the color to pop up you need to keep layering it but because i like my blusher to be natural so 
I like this because then I can control how dark or light I want my blusher to be. I'm going to put some mascara on. Yes, people, you are supposed to do this before you put on eyeliner. But I'm just too used to it and I keep forgetting. So, <sighs> touch up. All right. Now let's put on some mascara. One thing good about this Misha mascara is that you can keep layering it. Mascara completed. The exciting part is here! Let's try the highlighter. So I'm gonna go with my Art Deco Art Deco Eco Tools brush. Going to pack that on. Fluff it off and apply it on the high points of my cheeks. If you don't know where the high points of your cheek is, all you gotta do is smile and then you'll find it here. Wow, I don't know if you can see, but this highlighter is bomb. I love it. I'm gonna apply some here. So on my nose. I'm gonna apply the left over on my nose. Definitely worth the money. I'm really happy with this highlighter. And I'm going to keep using it. Now, let me warn you first. This matte lipstick may be a bit much for this look. But I'm going to try it on for you guys to see. Wow! Why does it look so red on camera? It's a totally different shade in real life. But yes, the color is a bit dark. But I like it. I was never a girl that used to put on really popping looks, but getting out of my comfort zone and I feel like a lady whenever I put shades like this. There was two shades. Um, the other one is very dolly pink and at first I was going to buy the dolly pink because I don't have color like that, but then suddenly I had some work to do, so I took five. And then when I thought about it, how often can I wear that dolly pink? Maybe not every day. So I told her, let me try the color again. And I think it's a very wearable everyday lip color. And I went for this color because it brighten up my face a bit more the pink one of course it brightened up my face but at the same time it's not a color that you can wear every day but this is so I decided to go for this color and at first I thought that this color is gonna be a bit too much for this look but it ends up pretty well and oh yes I forgot something Silly me, how can I forget? I'm gonna apply some of this highlighter. If there's one tip I can give you is that look for a highlighter that can be used not only as a highlighter. So that it's way more useful and you don't have to have a brightener for your inner corner of your eyes. You don't have to have a separate highlighter you don't have problems traveling with your makeup because you don't have too much makeup to bring along i've i've not had a problem with that like i have a specific set of makeup that i use every day and if i need to travel this is the set that i need and 
I don't have any problems with having too much makeup on the go. And now I am done. Getting my bear bear in the shot. Okay. Yes, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go get some lady stuff because it's the time of the month and some of my stuff is finished. So I need to go get that. I'm going to take mom with me. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, which is a beauty haul. And today's look, well, no, not really. It's a beauty haul, a try on. And today's look, if you like any of these products that I just used, head on to Sasa now because they do have a promo until the 1st of January, but they might not be stock girls. So, if you like any of these products that I just showed you, make sure you head on to Sasa today and grab yours because the sale might be on but the stock might not be there anymore. Especially these lipsticks, like the 70% off items. Um, I don't know what if they have any stock for them. So yeah, make sure you head on there yourself and have a look before it's too late. Don't kill me if it's too late because, you know, I did tell you. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!